Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can automate virtual machine building task on the VMware vCenter server. So whatever the mandatory parameter are there to build a virtual machine on the vCenter that we are giving here in the first part of the script. Here we are giving the VM name, IP address, uh, gateway and subnet mask, DNS entry and CPU and the memory. So uh, this is a custom uh, static uh, entries I have given, but if you want to uh, uh, it to be interactive, you can just write read hyphen host and then uh, it will ask you to enter that. See here, I run that and now it is asking, okay, enter the VM name. And here in the bracket, you can just mention, okay, enter the VM name. Here you can, you can mention read hyphen host and then in the double quote, you can mention provide the IP address to the virtual machine. Okay, so you can make that interactive later on. Uh, but as of now, I have given the static value to each variable to use within the script. Okay, so once we give this mandatory detail, then we have to enter the uh, credential, the first credential that we are going to use to uh, run inside the virtual machine, correct? So if we want to assign the IP address to the virtual machine, then we have to specify the guest credential to connect to that virtual machine after build. And the second credential we are giving to connect to the vCenter because whenever we are first time running the script, then we, we have to connect to the vCenter server and that for that we need a credential. So uh, here we are using that. So uh, to identify which credential we are providing, I have given the custom message here. Okay, credential are required to access the guest Windows machine. And the second, uh, when this variable will prompt, it will give a message credential are required to access the vCenter. So let me run it and you will understand that. Okay, here credential are required to access the guest uh, guest Windows machine. So here you can identify okay which credential I'm uh, providing right now. Okay, uh, you can just modify this message according to your use and uh, you are good to go. Then the next we are actually connecting to the vCenter that we have given. Here also we can use the variable, but I uh, currently I have not given. I have given a, a, the static, and then uh, the actual script start to build a virtual machine. Now new hyphen VM is the uh, command, a uh, power shell like command that will actually build the virtual machine on the vCenter. But there are so many parameter you can use while uh, using this command. So whatever the parameter I have given, I'll explain you. So hyphen template, so which template I have to use. So let me show you the vCenter server. And you can see I have one template here and that is called win2016. Like 2016 image I have so I have given this name so the same name I have given here in the script as a template name then OS customization spec uh, I have given as a window because I have created the customization spec according to that so let me show you that okay here so you can create your own uh, I have given like this uh, the standard one okay then after that, uh, I have used the hyphen data store. Now here, I uh, you can specify the data store or you can specify the uh, data store cluster according to your use. Here, I have given the cluster because I'm deploying the virtual machine on the cluster part. So automatically, uh, whatever the data store is a part of that cluster, it will automatically deploy. If the DRS is enabled on that data store cluster, then automatically it will place the virtual machine wherever uh, there is a more free space available. Then disk format I'm using here because I want to deploy in a thin format the virtual disk. So I have given the thin. Then resource pool, definitely uh, you are going to deploy a virtual machine on one of the clusters so you can specify here. And then if you want to uh, specify the folder where it, uh, the virtual machine should be deployed. Uh, okay, so the first part is a cluster and the second part is a folder name okay so Mumbai I have given so the new virtual machine will be deployed here in the uh, Mumbai cluster folder okay so uh, after we give this it will start building the virtual machine and then it will wait for the next step that is the set VM and here we are actually modifying the CPU and the memory so currently I haven't given the more modification but uh, but in the future in the next part of the VM automation uh, we will automate so many tasks in a different way where we we don't have to worry about the uh, more manual entries into that Okay, so here set hyphen VM and then VM name, it will automatically pick the VM name what we have given here and it will modify the CPU and the memory what the value we have given here. 
okay and uh, it will just modify that and it will try to start the virtual machine okay once the virtual machine has been started now we have already given here custom specs so what it will start you know it will start uh, uh, customization specs on the virtual machine so it will do the uh, sysprep and it will rename the computer it will so that task will be uh, done automatically because of this custom specs and then we will wait for that because we don't know how much time it will take correct so basically that is the reason we have used here while command and until this uh, statement is a true like one of the statement whatever we are giving until uh, it confirm okay this is the this has been done till the time it will loop that and it will continuously check to the vcenter hey uh, what is the event on the virtual machine the customization is succeeded or it is failed if it is failed then it will take action according to you, uh, what we have specified or if it is done then it will proceed further here we have used the while uh, statement and start sleep for the 60 seconds so not every time it will continuously check the event on the vCenter so every alternate one minute it will check the event on the vCenter and then uh, it will check okay uh, whether the customization is completed or not and then again it will loop after one minute okay so here we have given the right output okay so whenever you will run the script so every one minute you will get one uh, line okay uh, the customization is still running and once it is completed then it will run the second part so here we have given the two variable customization success and customization failed so here uh, i have given the entry like get uh, vi event hyphen entity entity the virtual machine name and uh, here we have used the parameter like where object and the full formatted message is matching with this machine okay so here we have used the match because we don't know but this line is a static one so uh, every virtual machine that customization is getting completed you will see this machine okay but rest of the message will be different like you will see the logs here uh, in the c drive windows and temple so we don't require that that is the reason we are giving here match okay so i know this message so that is the reason i given this but for the failed i I currently I don't have that event so I don't know how that log looks like so you can uh, if you have that uh, recent log where the customization have failed you can just copy paste that here to so it will match that event and it will say okay the customization have failed the next part here we have actually given the our uh, script that if the customization is successfully run then it will give a message okay customization has been completed on this virtual machine so once that is done we are setting the ip address on the virtual machine okay so for that we have given this entry ip add and this command so we have already added this here in this uh, variable and we have given okay net sh we are using interface ip set so this is the uh, this is a command from the uh, windows microsoft to set the ip address on the lan card now here you have to take care one thing that whatever the uh, template you are using you start that template and check what the ethernet adapter name you have given because it should match with this uh, you can uh, you can automate that too like whatever the adapter is available you can just customize that but uh, currently you have to specify the adapter name on the virtual machine and then it will set the ip address for that okay so here everywhere i have used the ethernet zero because that is the uh, nick card name in my uh, template now here once this value has been set and we are giving this value here if you see here the gateway and the ip address we are giving here once that is done uh, we are using okay uh, right setting the ip address okay so uh, it will invoke the command vm script that is called the vm script if you want to run any script inside the virtual machine by using the power cli then you have to invoke use invoke hyphen vm script command and then this is the way or this is the format you can use so here we are specifying the guest credential that we had given earlier and the script type batch and then script ip add dns1 and dns2 so this is how it will add the ip address dns uh, entries primary and the secondary and then it will say okay system build is done this is all the things we are doing uh, automated like the uh, building the virtual machine changing the vm name uh, then the sysprep is getting automated because of the custom specs and then we are setting the ip address uh, dns on the virtual machine we are not joining to the domain if it is a part of your uh, custom specs you can use that or in the second part we will see that 
okay so let me run the script now now this script will take a too longer time because this is the testing lab and it's the working very slow so uh, sometimes i'll forward the video in between okay so let me show you the vcenter here uh, there is uh, only one virtual machine running okay let me run the script run once okay auto vm01 and this is the guest credential what i have used in the custom specs for the local administrator this is for the b center and you can see here it has started uh, deploying the virtual machine on the v center it is applying that storage DRS because I have I'm deploying the virtual machine on the storage cluster. You can see the entry has been created, and you will see that log in the cluster. So I'm going in the data store view. This is my storage cluster. I'm, I'll go to monitor, and then task. Okay, and you can see here apply storage. The forty percent uh, the copying virtual machine is done. Once it will be 100%, it will automatically start the virtual machine and it will start the customization specs on that virtual machine. Our task has been completed now. So we'll check on the script side, what it is doing, okay. Okay, VM has been modified, 4 CPU and the 6 GB RAM, what we had set. And we can see that log here. Reconfigure the virtual machine, you can see here, number of CPU 2 to 4 and the memory from 4 to 6. And we have got our first event uh, from the script that waiting for the customization to be completed. Okay. Here our computer is ready. So let's wait for the log to be appeared here. Okay, you can see here OS customization has been completed. Now setting IP address for the Auto VM IP address configured in the system. Okay, done.
primary DNS assigned. Now it will assign the secondary DNS and the build will be complete. Configured in the system and system build is done. Please verify the VM. Okay, so we'll go here and you can see currently it is showing 192 IP address, but yeah, right now it is changed. So let me take a console of the VM and then we can verify here. So we we'll log in with the password that was configured in the customization specs. You can see here the computer name has been renamed. And you can see the IP address 100.0.51 to 55 and the DNS server 1 and 2 has been configured. So whatever we have uh, specified in the script, it have detected all the configuration and it have done that. So this script you can use for your requirement. Uh, you can modify that uh, according to your use. And if you have any doubt, you can just put into the comment box. I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.